Changes have been made to Singapore's transboundary haze pollution bill after feedback from the public. They include harsher penalties and a broader definition of the owner of the plot of land where the fire has broken out. When it was first unveiled early this year, the draft's transboundary haze pollution bill proposed a fine of up to $300,000 for those found guilty. Following public feedback, penalties have increased to up to $100,000 for every day that the haze occurs in Singapore. For example, if the haze persists at an unhealthy level and evidence shows it's caused by three days of burning, culprits can be fined up to $300,000. There was a sense that you know we needed to increase the overall level of deterrence, uh, and this was one way to do that. Um, because otherwise, you have the position where the guy says, "Well, since I've already uh, caused haze on one day, I might as well do more of it." Should the foreign-based director of the errant company be in Singapore, for example, the court can now require him to remain in the country to give evidence or more information. A narrow definition of landowner in the draft bill also raised concerns, especially for countries where a third party may be operating a particular plantation. In this case, the bill also now defines the owner of the land to include anyone with a valid license or permit to carry out operations, or one who has an agreement with the landowner. But the bill also allows accused parties who have taken measures to stop or prevent the fires to use this as a defence. We need effective collaboration, cooperation between governments. We need to share information. We need to share the results of our investigation. Dr Balakrishnan says he hopes irresponsible behaviour that causes the yearly problem will be deterred with a network of agencies working together with existing legislation.